Let us take a look at designing your life. Dive right in. Bicycle boy, once again. Uh, of course, do not forget the cape. We have model one, model two, but know that bicycle boy can change wheels. Okay, so I'm only explaining two wheels, but there's a grass shop. You can select any wheel you want. But two important wheels I'll describe from here. Uh, the first one is called the wheel of life, and it's used for sort of steering direction. So I would say this one, wheel of life, helps you determine certain goals you want to achieve, so to say. So in this case, if you want to achieve this goal, remember in the future, steer in this case left. Okay, so how does this wheel of life work? Well, allow me to show you here on the wall. You see that there are several components. You grade each component. So for example, health and vitality, the upper right corner or uh, over here, um, you grade within, let's say, 30 to 60 seconds, or let no stick within 30 seconds. So I would suggest to do this with your first uh, input. So health and vitality. What would the grade be that you give yourself for health and vitality? If it's a 5, it's a 5. If it's an 8, if it's 8. And do this for uh, thoughts and emotions family and uh, friends and all these other categories you see in this wheel of life. Then in the end, you will probably get sort of a wheel. Then check, see my wheel over here, check if your wheel is properly balanced. This way you can figure out what are the components that I need to set some goals to get a more balanced wheel. Okay, so that's the first one. However, before you do this exercise, I highly recommend do a exercise of gratitude first. Okay, so before you fill in this model, which is done in eight times 30 seconds, within five minutes, so to say, do an exercise of gratitude and do it as follows. For what are you grateful for? What would the other uh, people wish for? I, I discussed this in previous video before, but let me rephrase it. For what are you grateful? In other words, what would somebody else's wish be? So you might still have your parents. Somebody without parents would have wished for that. You might have vision. You might have fingers you can use. You might have breath in your lungs. Whatever, you have things be grateful for it because that connects you best to your prefrontal cortex, your higher being and your higher being. You want your higher being filling in your wheel of life, not your monkey mind. So activate your higher being via this gratitude exercise. Yeah. So within 30 seconds, then um, later drop in these categories. So let's say for example, uh, growth, and learning let's zoom in on this one let's say that this is growth then again within one minute drop down the first things that you can think of that you want to grow in so for me this is a reanimation course like uh, do my, uh, help somebody revive so to say also uh, brazilian jitsu uh, driving motor license or getting my motor license in order those things yeah i will upload my uh, wheel of life later and that's how you fill in the wheel of life. And that's how you see if this wheel is not only balanced, but also the goals in the future. Remember, this is not your current state that you're in. This is a future. So to power your engine, um, I would suggest to monitor the present. And how do you do that? Via the quantum thought approach. So that's becoming aware of now. So this model is all about the desires you have as an individual, desires either fueled by your higher being 
or your monkey, uh, perhaps a mix. This one is becoming fully aware in your present. This is the engine that's running your motor or a bicycle in this case. So awareness, how does one do that? You can do that in so many different variants. We even spend an entire chapter on it. But for now, I would say to just drop what you're doing. So take a moment of stillness, so to say. Correct your posture. So uh, spine, erect your spine, uh, sorry, spine. Then breath work. Pay attention to your breath work. Either correct it, make them deep for your belly, or stay in the exact same breath work and just monitor if it is high, is it low in the belly, wherever it may be. Also, then the fourth one is, um, sorry, let me, um, relax the body. So relax tension, feel where there's tension, often in my case in the shoulders, in my muscles in the, in the jaw, etc. And then start monitoring thoughts. What also help is sort of a super hack is slow down your movements. It will help you become way more aware. When I talk slowly, this also makes me more aware in this camera and of this entire weird situation. But um, for now, this is like the basic go-to to build a bit more of awareness. Awareness is a cognitive skill. It is not something, unfortunately, you learn on schools. So this is something you need to learn on your own after schools. Just as writing and reading open up of the world for you, this awareness will also open up an entirely new spectrum of possibilities for you. It will bring clearness, it will bring clar clarity, focus, connection with your inner core, connection with the outer core. It will power up your bicycle and it will bring you places. And the beauty is it, you realize that you don't have to go to places. You are already in the best place that you can be, namely in the present. This is the stuff that makes you so grateful that even doing the dishes in an aware moment is perhaps even more magical than spending a week in Disneyland. Um, let me see if I collected. Oh yeah, I will drop the benefits of the wheel of life and the downsides of the wheel of life of this model in the, in the further readings. I will also drop in some alternative wheels. Pretty much they are all the same for steering directions. They are leaning or directing you to, towards future goals. This is often known as a sort of a Western model. And I would say that this is more known as the Eastern model. Once again, complementary opposites. No right, no wrong. It is as it is.